Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a pencil. Sounds simple, but um, quite often something that causes a lot of questions and raises a lot of uh, issues with the uh, graphite work in terms of not getting the finish that you're looking for. What do I use to sharpen a pencil? Cheap craft knife, like this, or a Stanley knife. The bigger ones, the bigger blade is better than a scalpel type blade because you've got more leverage in it to take the wood away. Um, I use a nail file, which is a very fine grade. Uh, I use some kitchen towel to wipe the lead on. Just a piece of old board, like this. get very dirty doing it, but I spend about an hour to sharpen a whole box of pencils. And once it's done, they last for ages. You don't need to keep sharpening. When, you, when your pencils arrive, when you get a new pencil, they look something like this. Now, if you just use a, a handheld sharpener or a desk sharpener, um, you're going to end up with a point like that. It's really not going to last you any time. You're always going to be sharpening and you're not going to get the fineness of finish that you need to get with, with botanical work. So it's worth spending the time to sharpen your pencils properly. And um, there's, no, there's, there's no quick way of doing it, but it probably takes about five minutes to sharpen each pencil. So it's not a huge amount of time. As I say, once they're done, they last for ages. So, how do I start? Make sure the knife is sharp um, and take, start by taking away the wood all around the pencil. Long stroke and expose the graphite. I take it away, probably exposing it around about an inch or so. The harder pencils are easier to sharpen than softer pencils, but they take a bit longer. Once I've taken the lead away, scoop that away. You can do it on a board, but you can do it in a pot. I just do them all on a board on the knee. Scoop them up. <coughs> Once I take the lead away, and um, the wood away, I start to whittle away at the lead. Like so. Don't press on too hard or you'll break it. These harder pencils, this one is an F, so it's not it's actually not too bad this one, but a hard pencil will take longer than a soft pencil to sharpen because it's harder. As you, as you whittle away at it using the knife, um, rotate it. Just keep rotating it and that make sure it's taken away evenly. Sometimes the soft ones go a bit wonky, but you can sort that out, so it doesn't really matter. Sometimes the pencil gets snagged in the lead and that's because you're cutting and you're putting too much pressure and I just did it there. It does happen. Um, but if you've got the right angle on the knife, it just takes it away evenly. The idea is to taper that lead towards the tip. It creates quite a kind of bulbous area here if you're not careful, so I'll work on that nearer to the tip. Keeping the same motion and rotating the pencil. Really. So try and take away as much as you can with the knife, and then once you finish with the knife, you move on to the nail file. You use fine grade sandpaper, but nail files have got a better, they're finer, I find, and easier to use. And the other reason I'm using is because I like to file them from above, not underneath. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, that'll do. Um, so, take my nail file and work from above in a circular motion. Again, rotating the pencil. I'm trying to do this slower than I normally do it, so you can see. And don't apply too much pressure. Just enough to take away. You can see this, the graphite falling away beneath. I'm working to taper it towards that tip so it's nice and smooth. You can rotate the pencil all the time. If 
If you get it up the, the wood, don't worry, you can use that, take that away later. Right, so this is better than doing this. It gives you more, a little bit more even pressure on it. And that smooth a taper lead. Just keep taking it away and have a look at it. Tip's quite good now. Take a bit more away, further up. Not do really. Um, at this stage, you see I've got quite a bit up the up the, around the wood, so I want to take that away. So I want to risk my fingers on that and I'm drawing it. So I'll just shave away the dirty bits. And then I'll just give it a buff on here. It's not necessary all the time, but this is what I use. I keep this on my desk when I'm drawing and I just tweak the tip on it. And then I inspect it to make sure it is actually pointing, there's no squareness on it or unevenness. And it could go a little bit sharper, so I'll give it with another a very fine sheet. Might take it on top for the very very tip. And just run it along like so, pulling up against it. Now, very important, when you have finished, wipe it on the kitchen towel to get rid of all the loose graphite. One of the most common problems I hear is about bits and graphite or pencils, faulty or whatever. It's usually not the pencils, it's usually bits of graphite on the lead here. Um, and they come off when you're drawing and make a dark mark. Or alternatively, it can be where you've been rubbing out and you've got bits of rubber. So that's how I sharpen the pencil. Before you use it on the paper, always test it. And again, you can tweak the tip actually just by using it like that as well, just to make sure there's no gritty bits on. Clean your board, you can do that, do it on paper, I'm just doing it here to show you. And always test it first to make sure you haven't got any gritty bits stuck to the end. And that's it, that's how to sharpen the pencil.